happy birthday, a happy one, to one of America's best-known octogenarians, Chicago's Wrigley Field, age 80, today. The third oldest ballpark in the majors, the friendly confines, is unique in many ways. It has the only hand-operated scoreboard in baseball, ivy-covered walls, adjacent rooftop audiences, and was last to add lights for night baseball in 1988. WG and Television and Wrigley Field have been partners in broadcasting for almost 40 of those 80 years. Tonight, as part of the big birthday celebration, some of the great old-time voices of the Chicago Cubs are right back in the press box behind the microphones that made them famous. Rich King is standing by live at Wrigley Field right now and recaps the nostalgia. Rich? Well, Steve, all in all, overall, a great evening here for the Cubs. They won the ball game, first of all, with the San Diego Padres. Hard going here at Wrigley Field so far for the Cubs this year, but they won the game. That was the highlight of the evening. But of course, another highlight was the old-time broadcasters coming back. Three broadcast greats in Cub history back at this grand old ballpark once again. We had some shots of them going into the booth. Jack Brickhouse, there's Lou Boudreau and Vince Lloyd also making their way into the broadcast booth. They did the first six innings of the ball game. There's Harry also in the shot. And the highlight came in the sixth inning. The big question would... Jack Brickhouse get a chance to give his old hey hey once again. The answer came in the sixth. Brano. And it was an out. Ah, hey. That's it. Where'd she go? That back could back. be. Back. 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 Hey. 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 In the ball game. Back. Hey hey. In the basket. Hey hey. Buchel has done it. How was it to just be a, say hey, hey again? Oh, it was fun. It really was. You know, I was able to tell the story on how it happened. You know, I fell in love with the expression. And uh, Hank Sauer hit one out. And they flashed hey, hey on the screen. And the minute I saw that, I knew what was happening. The crew was telling me that I had fallen in love with this expression, which announcers do without realizing it. It was great. The whole evening was terrific. And the reaction of the crowd to the game itself... Typical uh, Cubs crowd, I think. They they are in the game. I don't know how many other ballparks would make that claim, but it seems to me that it's always been true here. They are in the ball game all the time, and it's great. Well, it's good to see those guys again. Vince Lloyd, Lou Boudreau, and Jack Brickhouse had a great evening. It all sounded pretty good, I'll tell you. They still have it. And I'll tell you one thing that Vince said at the end. You know, those guys, having grown up here in Chicago, listening to them, the fans were in it here at Wrigley Field, but they were in every game. Exciting action from Vince Lloyd, of course, uh, Lou Boudreau, and Jack Prickhouse. So 80 years old, but uh, a fond moment here at the ballpark tonight. And the Cubs, bottom line is they won the game. Those guys may be back every night now. Cubs keep winning. <laughs> I'll tell you, Rich, it was almost like they never left. What do you think? They sounded excellent. You know, uh, of course, they're getting out a little bit in years, but Lou Boudreau is right there with the analysis. Vince really was sharp in the play-by-play. -play. Of course, Jack, a Chicago legend with the hey, hey. I'm glad he had a chance. You know, they're running out of time there. They're in the sixth inning, and you thought there'd be no home runs for the Cubs tonight, and all of a sudden, Bouchel hits one, and Jack had his golden moment once again, and he's very happy about it. And the fans here uh, who are listening on the radio, also some in the stands, uh, heard him do radio call, really enjoying the entire evening. Okay. Thanks, Rich. A lot of great memories from those guys. Jack Brickhouse has a beautiful voice. Doesn't he though? Sounds yeah. wonderful. <laughs> um, people were bundled up at Wrigley Field tonight. Of course, next time Skilling tells us about this cold front.